Live, live, live. We're here. We're back. I'm on the air. Uh, let's see if we're uh, getting any uh, any uh, uh, folks catching me live or not. I'm just going into my own channel just to see if I can find myself. And uh, I'll just keep talking here while you folks uh, take a look and see if you can find me. And uh, we'll see if anyone uh, can track me down. Uh, I've got to just uh, wait here and go back over here. And let's see what's happening on this live broadcast am i being seen by anyone uh on the air here we go new visitor just one second i'm checking myself over <laughs> hopefully you can see me uh take two there it is it's saying live now i'm gonna hit take two and uh let's see if you found me on take two out there people um here we go there i am uh, it's still kind of uh Fuzzy picture, not great. Uh, 14, 15 watching. I got people watching me. Uh, it's awesome now. Much better. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. All righty. Uh, I'm just uh, going to try to find myself on my own my own channel on my phone because I don't even see myself. <laughs> uh, modern technology. I tell you, unbelievable. Uh, I got Pamela here, Paul, Iskew, Cam, Nancy, Charles, Peter, Jim. Uh, Debbie's here. Wes is here. Um, uh, you can give me another thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do 10 of these in a row. Really light up the channel. Uh, here I go. Take two. Um, and there I am. Uh, top chat. Here it is. I am on the chat. Thank you. And, uh, I'm looking at myself on the screen. It's a lousy picture that I see. Uh, but of course the picture that I'm broadcasting on is beautiful. It's clear as a bell. I hope you guys are getting a decent enough look at everything uh and we'll see how it works out i'm showing 25 viewers now on the show 26 they're coming in so uh hopefully this will work out uh <laughs> so pamela's here paul iskew cam nancy charles peter jim debbie wes uh thomas henry we will still have some cabins available on the star uh 422 anyone want to join me miami to barcelona 599 bucks inside and 929 balcony I think that's what two weeks is that a 14 day cruise thomas well, nancy was better but now a bit blurry started out good though nancy tracy much better randy lucas better still got that blue wrench randy uh pamela don't forget the thumbs ups nancy nolan blurry but audio is better sea keeper i'm back acceptable picture and okay sound good thank you uh thomas henry who's in the thumbs down isn't it is that an inside joke i i, I don't know who it is uh but someone always does it what can i say uh a, peer, a person who plays games hello nibba person who plays games oh hi uh you know i uh, hope you're a cruise fan uh, uh you know we'll see uh isq park watched a few more vids on that sun cruise facebook page really bad uh, conditions uh, that that was the uh the the flight getting back from mexico uh, with a that was a mess uh, paul wilgus the picture was great but it's gotten a bit fuzzy uh like you say uh that's what i was thinking too i see that here and then uh, Cam Wilson, it's all good. Um, and Randy Lucas, you look no crappier than normal. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Cam Wilson is going PMSL. I, I don't know what PMSL is. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, thank you guys for coming back and finding me again. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, 30 viewers are on now, and uh, we're there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 16 thumbs ups one down and uh, things are back to normal uh, okay there we go um news of the day a uh, couple of things i wanted to mention uh titled i was titling the uh, broadcast today um the offer that costa concordia people survivors got from the uh, from um, costa lines which is owned by carnival and um uh <laughs> it makes laugh. And I found some info on the uh, on the settlements, and it, and it was a it was a you know tragic story back in 2012. Costa Concordia, you know, got gashed, got a 165 foot gash in the side of its hull because the captain decided to wave at the folks at this little village, not knowing that he was going to you know pierce the hull with an underwater rock formation that just sliced it open like a can opener. And within five minutes, the ship was listing. Within 10 minutes, it was listing badly. Within an hour, it was laying on its side on the shore. And it was a miracle that that happened at all, uh, that it didn't sink in over 800 feet of water uh, with probably a serious loss of life. Even though the sea was calm, 
there was there was no uh, serious weather issues uh but the wind that was there blew the ship the dead in the water ship towards the shore not out to sea thank goodness and the um ship ended up laying on her side on this rock formation uh in in what 50 70 feet of water and everyone but 31 or 32 people got out alive 32 did not and it was a tragic that's a tragedy right there it should never have happened to say the least anyway passengers were offered are you ready for this uh the first offer the cruise line made was a 30 percent discount on any future cruise that was the first offer on all the survivors that was the offer that was first made i i just went wow <laughs> so, this kind of sounds familiar to me. Uh, this sounds kind of like the Norwegian Sun offer that Norwegian made um, on the recon on those construction cruises. Uh, there were four of them, and they've only made they only made one offer to the last group on the Panama Canal. Twenty five percent off any cruise. Got a credit? Just use it. You know, use it within a year and uh, enjoy. Come on back and have a great time. Yeah, thirty uh, percent offer on a future cruise from Costa. To the 3,200 survivors, uh, well, 3,200 less 32 survivors of the uh, disaster, the Concordia disaster. I, I just, I, I was just blown away uh, when I read that. And then, uh, and then the, um, the, um, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm just watching my messages. Pardon me for interrupting myself. Let me see if this is going to help at all. If I go back one on the uh, bandwidth is this going to help at all uh, i'm just so disappointed in today's tele telecast the quality is just awful um <laughs> okay the uh gosh it's awful it's just terrible um the second offer and the offer that well not even the second offer uh, the eventual deal that was struck for probably a majority of the uh, passengers who were not hurt physically hurt mentally that's another matter but physically not hurt and who uh who uh, made it back to shore uh, the final offer to them was about in american money it was about fourteen thousand us dollars plus another thirty five hundred dollars in costs to get home from there to get your to get your things together and get back to uh, your home from where you came from so it was about seventeen thousand five hundred dollars us was really the final offer there were groups who were holding out for more, they were trying to sue uh, in uh, court in Italy, and there were a bunch of foreigners trying to sue in the United States. They wanted the U.S. courts to pick it up because they were going after Carnival out of Miami. But U.S. courts, after a few years of haggling, U.S. courts threw it right back at them and said, nope, sue them in Italy. That's where it took place. That's where the accident happened. That's the jurisdiction. And that, of course, is bad news for Americans because uh, American courts can be quite uh quite good if you win uh, in america um for the those who lost their lives uh settlements were in the millions um about all confidential but i've heard about a hundred million dollars in total dollars were used to settle all claims um at least i think that's what it is it's uh, there's so many stories out there i can't put my finger on it the italian group that wanted to sue for um, uh, in italian courts on a class action basis they wanted 150,000 us a person that was kind of their number it's about 140,000 130,000 euros but 150,000 american was what they were going after i don't know if they were successful um i did hear uh, a story or read something that some passengers were able to get double what the offer was instead of 14,000 they got 28 and then some of the folks who got 14 wanted to go back and get that and i don't know where that ended up it may well still be in litigation for all i know but uh, this just is an indication of how difficult it is for passengers to to get a serious settlement, even on a cruise where the captain was negligent, found guilty in court, is in jail. Uh, you still can't get money out of the cruise lines because you're dealing with an entity that's all offshore and uh, is difficult to sue. So going back to the Norwegian Sun, the folks on the Norwegian Sun are really up against it to try to get any kind of a settlement out of Norwegian. Norwegian isn't offering a dime of money not a dime of compensation. They are simply going for cruise credits. They started with 25%. Uh, now they're offering a 100% credit for a cruise for the next four years uh, to the group on the Panama cruise. The group on the cruise before that, Western Caribbean, I think are being offered 50% credit on a cruise going forward. Uh, 
uh, and that's all they're offering. And the other two cruises, nada, zip, zilch, not offering a thing. And they're like crickets. Uh, they're just not saying a word out of Norwegian from what I can find. I can't find a single press release, anything new in the last little while. It's complete silence. But I did find another press release from Norwegian Cruise Line that I thought you might be interested in. Um, if you're a shareholder of Norwegian, I might have good news for you. Um, uh, from a PR point of view, the timing sucks, but oh, you know, they they did. They went ahead with it. They went ahead and had a board meeting, the board of directors, and voted on a measure, and they approved it and announced it uh, just the last couple of days. And I found it this morning. Norwegian Cruise Lines announcing a $1 billion stock buyback program. They're going to take a billion dollars of cash that they're swimming in because they're making money, good money right now. And they're going to buy 8% of the outstanding shares that exist in the company back over the next three. So just a little under 3% of the company per year, up to 8% of the company. They're going to buy it back. And the reason they're doing it is quite simple. Uh, a lot of the executives, a lot of the top people, they get stock options and performance bonuses. And they're interested in getting the stock price to go up. The higher the stock price, the uh, better the option that they have and the more wealth that they get over and above their salary. And uh, the stock these days is at $55.25 a share approximately. Uh, it's been as high as 61-ish and as low as 47, I believe, the last year or so. Uh, if you uh, take all the shares and multiply it uh, by the stock price, uh, you get a market capitalization or a value of the total company of $12.2 billion American. So Norwegian is valued at $12.2 billion. The uh, stock is trading at 16 eight times its earnings so uh, for every dollar the company earns, the share getting at $16 a share. So in this case, the $55 a share, the company is, is earning a little over $3 a share in profit. Uh, that's how we get the 16.8 PE multiple, price to earnings multiple. Uh, there's a dividend. The company doesn't pay a dividend to the shareholders. So the only return shareholders get is gains return. In other words, value. Uh, the higher the shares go up in price, the better the shareholders do, depending on where you bought the shares at. If you bought them at 61, at the yearly high, you're, you're underwater by about 10% right now because it's at 55. If you bought them at $47, the low of the year, you're up eight bucks a moment, and uh, that's about 15% on your investment. If you bought them ago, maybe you paid 35 for them, doing okay. The company's decided we're not going the dividend route for that. We're just going to take profits up of the profits, 333 million a year for the next three years. We're going to buy stock back in the open market. When we buy these shares, we're going to cancel the certificates and there'll be fewer shares outstanding. The fewer shares outstanding, the profits remain at the per share earnings will go up because there are fewer shares to divide the earnings into. If the earnings go higher, which is expected because the company is says, Firing in all cylinders, higher room rates, higher onboard spending, lower costs, or keeping the cost in control. The thinking is, well, they might earn dollars a share next year or five dollars a share down the road, and with eight percent fewer shares to divide those into, the, uh, the shares will trade at a higher, even if. 16.8 times earnings, which they are now. And that's the strategy behind this move. So they've got the cash lying around to pick up about, um, uh, what did I calculate it at? About 30 million, six million, what's in shares buyback? 18 million shares they're going to buy, but they're not offering a dime of that money to the victims, passengers slash victims on the Norwegian Sun, who were exposed to these toxic chemicals and are having health issues. Um, cash for them, cash for the street boy to buy back stock. Now, theoretically, they could take this billion dollars over three years, pay off their loans faster, corporate loans, buy the boats, the ships that they're sailing. They could, they have loans outstanding, just a lot of their fleet, but 
They're not going to do that. They're going to use it to buy back stock. Keep Wall Street happy uh, because they want that stock of theirs to be recommended as a buy by the analysts because every 30 weeks, you got to come to Wall Street with a rip card. And that shows profits and losses. How are you doing as a corporation? Are you meeting our expectations? Wall Street, do not. Uh, on the last quarter, not meet one of the answers for their gross revenues. They missed by $100,000, but they did exceed the net profit expectation of the analysts, and they gave a pass and said, that's okay, we'll let you go on that, because net profits are everything. Uh, sometimes if you can cut your costs and uh, you should fall on your gross income, but you cut your costs, you'll still have much money you thought you would or more. Good for you. But with this buyback, a billion bucks to buy back stock, you're guaranteeing yourself the opportunity or you're trying to guarantee the opportunity that the earnings per share number will accelerate because there are fewer shares to count the earnings in. And that's what's happening here at Norwegian. Now, the president of the company, I don't know his package. I could find out. I just haven't taken the time to do it. But my estimation is that the president of the corporation, the chairman of the board, is likely being paid some sort of a salary plus stock options in the millions of shares. If this individual, Del Rio's his name, if he can get those shares up 10 bucks a share and he's got a 5 million share contract, 5 million share option contract, that's 50 million in, in added wealth to this gentleman uh, because the stock went up in price. So the more money, the more company money he can use to buy back stock and the stock goes up in value in the open market, the richer this individual gets, along with all the other vice presidents and heads of departments and all the other employees. I have nothing against employees of, of uh, Norwegian. I, I hope they make a ton of money. I have nothing against the company. I wanted to make a ton of money. That's great. I'm a capitalist. I love it. I just want corporations to stand up and do the right thing when it comes to uh, people who've been injured. And that's the case I have with the, the beef I've got with Norwegian Sun. I think these people have been injured. I think they've been taken advantage of. I think they were sold a bill of goods on four cruises back to back to back to back where they pay top dollar for a dream cruise, whether it was from Buenos Aires to Miami or Caribbean area or through the Panama Canal to LA. And I don't think they got that offer. I don't think they got the cruise they were buying, they were paying for. I think they got a reconstruction cruise, four cruises in a row with some really nasty side effects thrown in. And uh, the company is not doing the right thing by these people, let alone the crew. 1,000 crews stuck on that ship for 60 days with that nonsense going on on those decks for the entire time. Uh, I don't know how they're doing. I don't know how many of these people are seeing doctors. I have no idea because they're probably under gag orders. They're probably not allowed to talk. And if they talk, they're fired. And they're getting no offer for compensation, perhaps. I don't know. I wish I knew. If anyone knows, let me know. I'll pass the word on because I'm dying to tell the world what's going on with these guys. I can only tell you what I see and what I know of and what I'm finding and what I see that Norwegian is or is not doing. I don't think it's acceptable. Anyway, that's my beef there. That's my little, little, uh, you know, little speech. <laughs> And I'll leave it at that. Um, let's see here what's going on with the comments because they've been coming in while I've been uh, ranting away and uh, uh, looking more like older Brad Pitt, uh, Michelle is saying, because of the look of my channel. Uh, I hope it's working, you guys. Uh, no, that's Sunboat Cruise Facebook page. Those travelers put up lots of new eye-opening videos were recently added. I agree. Uh, uh, Randy is, is having fun. Ra Thomas Henry, wow, I have Bruce on two screens now. Charles Jordan, I believe this internet provider has throttled back his bandwidth, laughing out loud. You got to wonder, uh, I don't know what to say about it. I'm not an expert in this area. Uh, Randy, see what happens when the sun comes out. In Creston, Bruce goes fuzzy. You see, the sun comes, it's terrible. Uh, did you all read, uh, Jim Thomas, did you all read the story about the airplane, that woman in the uh, in the rock? A level headed and her training sure kicked in. Um, US military trained the pilot of the Southwest jetliner that had the engine blowing out and she made an emergency landing in Philadelphia, cool as a cucumber, uh, following protocol, did it all right, everyone okay except for one passenger, tragically killed uh, with a shrapnel coming through the window, just terrible. 
and everyone shook up, obviously. Uh, Southwest immediately is stepping up to the plate to assist these people. See this, Norwegian, how you do it? Southwest is looking after these people. Uh, I don't think these folks are going to have to fight very hard for compensation. I think Southwest will just step up and do the right thing. Um, Starbucks, another company. I think they're stepping up and doing the right thing uh, in Philadelphia, uh, shutting down 8,000 stores and having a training with their staff. Uh, I think that's the right thing. Um, that's a corporation that will not tolerate a tarnished reputation uh, that doesn't need to be tarnished. Um, way to go, Starbucks. Way to go, South Southwest Airlines. Norwegian, what's your problem? I don't get it. Uh, Charles Jordan, laugh out loud. Randy, the, JT, those are lucky people to have their to have her as her captain. Debbie, the Southwest pilot. Yes, she is a rock star. Uh, steaming bean, Bruce. Jim Thomas, as she is the bomb. Jim Thomas, she was the first woman to fly an F-18 Super Hornet. There you go. Thomas Henry, I think the share buyback is hiding another problem. Silo Steve, the sun will be in Seattle tomorrow. Should I go uh, to a high vantage point and look for construction equipment? <laughs> uh, Silo, I'm telling you, I doubt you're going to see anything unusual. Um, my hunch is the outside work is done. That's what dry dock, uh, one of the effects of dry dock, one of the purposes of dry dock is to get the outside dirty work done. Top of the decks is usually done in dry dock. Not in this case, but the inside work uh, will also have been done. And I'm wondering about the finishing work on the inside. I'm dying to hear from passengers on that ship starting tomorrow. How is that repositioning cruise going starting tomorrow from Seattle to uh, Port Canaveral? That's going to be interesting to see. Um, Thomas Henry, less shares from everyone that wants to sell due to the sun, bolstering the price. Yep, Wendy Thompson, not selling my shares. Loves to travel. Got I just got here. The wind blew me away, so I had to wait for it to blow me back home. There you go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You are in Kansas. <laughs> the steamy bean. Norwegian stock may not even drop from what happened just because how popular cruising had become. That's true. Uh, Cam Wilson, laugh out loud. So loves to travel. Um, uh, loves to travel. Hi, Cam. A steamy bean. I love to travel, but but must be uh, must uh, budget better. That is why I would share a cabin with Bruce and his wife. Steamy Bean, you're there for me. I know you're there. Jen knows it. And Jen saying no damn way. <laughs> when she found out you're one biscuit short of 400, she thought, oh, no. Oh, no. These cabins are tight enough as it is. I don't need this. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Cam Wilson, you didn't miss too much. Uh, we had recently restarted the stream doing some technical difficulties. Steamy Bean, Bruce is coming in choppy. Still, chop suey, exactly. Rough seas, uh, chopper, Bruce. Uh, steaming bean, Bruce is ready for Bay Street in Toronto. Been there, done that. Believe me, uh, that's my old self. Steaming bean, he's even wearing a Toronto blue shirt. How about that? Randy Lucas, Bruce has a robot voice tonight. I'm sorry to say. Paul Wilgus, Bruce didn't pay his internet bill because you YouTube wouldn't monetize him. There it is. It's YouTube's fault. I need money, people. Oh, it's terrible. Peter Heckham, I wonder because of the poor quality picture and sound if you'll be able to publish the show or will it be any better? I have no idea. Uh, Jim Thomas, Randy, use your wrench. Jim Thomas, good question. Steamy Bean, is he selling merch beside T-shirts? Coffee cups. Uh, Steamy Bean, like lanyards. Uh, are there lanyards? Uh, there's tote bags. There are uh, stickers. Uh, pillow covers. Um, just go to the store, check it out. Uh, uh, Jim Thomas is saying yes. Uh, Randy Lucas, that wrench means uh, I'm all powerful. I can remove folks from the chat or put them, <laughs> put them away. Isq companies like Sun Owners always pay themselves before others. Steaming Bean, good for you, Randy. Uh, I'm in timeout. Uh, Jim Thomas, uh, IMAO. Uh, loves to travel. I like to listen to the YouTube channel that tells you about a ship that has. That female robot sounding voice. <laughs> yeah, Wilson, I think he's also selling coffee mugs. And yes, Randy, you are uh, the mode of the stream. Congratulations on your promotion. Uh, Randy, uh, Randy's like, God, you know, that's what Steamy Bean is saying. Uh, that's right, Bean, as Randy is saying. Jim Thomas, uh, God of Bakersfield of the Seas. That's right, Bakersfield of the Seas. Steamy, steamy Bean. Starbucks makes mediocre coffee. Well, yeah, but they, they, they know how to market it, don't they? I mean, it works. Uh, it's, they're doing something right with somebody. Steaming Bean, Randy Lucas should be, should be, should time out Starbucks. Randy Lucas should time out Starbucks. Jim Thomas, costing $16 million to shut down Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, it would cost a lot more if they didn't. Can you imagine? If they, if they just kept quiet like Norwegian and just let this thing try to blow over, it wasn't blowing over. It was going viral. 
on uh, on uh, Twitter and everywhere else. Uh, 16 million chump change to fix this problem. Uh, Norwegian could fix everything with about 15 million bucks. If that, it could fix everything. And I bet you they might maybe, maybe not get insurance on it, but they could make this go away. But they're not doing it. It's unbelievable. Uh, Steamy Bean McAfee. McAfee. Uh, lion clothes. <laughs> loin, loin clothes. Mm -hmm. Steamy Bean. I would not wear a loincloth as I am more of a Speedo guy. <laughs> That's like this. I don't want to see. <laughs> I don't think I want to even. I'm trying not to think about it. Uh, I'm having trouble. It's like Ghostbusters and Dan Aykroyd uh, trying not to think of anything, and it just popped in there. Uh, the Steve Puff Marshmallow Man. It just popped in there. I couldn't help it. Oh my goodness. I don't. I don't want to know. I. I yikes. Sea uh, <laughs> Keeper. Starbucks sells fashionable, overpriced coffee. There you go. Uh, me too, Bean. Wendy Thompson, new, no, loves to travel. What's up with Starbucks? Steaming Bean. Bruce should wear a Speedo online. There he is. Steaming Bean is always always trying to go risque on me. Uh, Cam, Cam Wilson, uh, oh, no. Nancy Nolan, the Steaming Bean. Yikes. Jim Thomas, how, how, how do you? He ain't. No. <laughs> Messages are being erased and being uh, retracted left and right. Uh, people are, are horrified. At the thought of what's going to happen, <laughs> it, we're out of control. I I don't know. I I I just I've seen it on cruise ships. I'm sure you have, folks. Uh, you folks have too on cruise ships where uh, where uh, people are wearing inappropriate clothing on cruise ships. Uh, I I don't know. I I just I just I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me know how this fo this picture is coming out. I'm adjusting the bandwidth again. I don't know if it's going to make any difference. Uh, Steaming Bean, the Midnight Show. It's Bruce, traveling with Bruce, restricted adult only entertainment, the Midnight Show. Uh, sea Keeper, I'd rather wear a kilt than a Speedo. Uh, Nelsey Nolan, the Steaming Bean. I thought he was. I thought he was. Uh, the Steaming Bean, I would rather go full Monte. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a guy teaching grade five kids. <laughs> Your teachers aren't at work. Oh my goodness, Wendy Thompson, no! <laughs> uh, out of control, out of control. I do not know. Not much better, Peter Heckema. Okay, uh, I'm going to try one more thing. Uh, let's just see if this does anything. I have no idea. Uh, forgive me if this doesn't do any good or whatever. But I'm on a low uh, bandwidth now, and let's see if this makes any difference to the views for you guys. It'll take a few seconds for me to see it. Um, keep Monty covered. Kids are watching. That's right. Uh, to me, it just looks horrible on my uh, on my computer screen. On my phone, it looks so so. Um, but um, I'm just wondering how you guys are are, are finding this picture. Uh, I, I'm uh, I'm at a loss today. What's going on with my uh, my internet? Don't tempt me, people. Randy Lucas says, "Are all supposed to pick up me and my starch? Is my shark? What his his bicycle shorts? I'll say bicycle shorts. Don't tempt. Me. Uh, worse, Bruce. Worse. Okay, worse. I'm going the other direction then. Oh my gosh, having a tough time today. Uh, let's go here. Uh, a little better here. I hope. Are you in Okinawa? Are you in the Okinawa? Uh no, I'm at Crested. I'm Crested. Trying to get show a decent picture coming through on this uh, thing. Loves to travel. The wind from Kansas is messing you up, uh, or or the lack of wind here. I don't understand it. Um, yep, having fun with this uh, whole nonsense here today. Um, just wondering why. I don't know why, uh, but it's crazy. Uh, not very good. Uh, and I'm I apologize for the lousy fo picture, folks. I'm sure. A whole bunch of newbies are not here today. They're not liking this. Uh, let's see. Me and Randy Lucas shared with us. Randy Lucas in his. <laughs> uh, I don't want to repeat that. <laughs> Randy is loving it. I'm over. I'm in the sunspots over Canada. I laugh out loud. A silo giggle. Jiggle the cable. That's what you got to do. Just jiggle on, bros. Jiggle the cable. Oh, my gosh. Loves to travel. Messed up Wednesday. Oh, it's a messed up Wednesday. <laughs> on a number of levels. Oh, my goodness. Peter, try the connection on the RV. Nancy saying losing audio. Oh, no. Oh, my 
God, I tell you, I just don't know what to make of it today. It's just a terrible uh, from uh, from a quality point of view. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can't comment. You can read them for yourselves, but I can't repeat them, people. Uh, I tell you, a uh, refund. Silo, uh, let's get on and get a refund on this. Tommy, you know, well, I gave you. <laughs> Bean, how did you know? Randy Lucas is saying, Bean, how did you know? Uh, Charles Jordan Bruce, you need to increase your bandwidth, not lower it. High as it can go on this thing. Uh, it can't go any higher. I've got it now. Um, let's see. Tommy, thumbs up on both shows. Uh, thank you, Tommy. <laughs> I'll sing I need. Uh, Wendy. Uh, Royal Caribbean is mad at you and messing with the show. It's either it's either Norwegian Royal or 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 uh, Carnival. One of them are mad at me, uh, or maybe they're all mad at me. I don't know. Uh, Jim Thomas. Okay, Jen, need to hold the antenna in one hand and then lift your other arm to get better reception. Uh, try to try to help us out here. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, it's just a terrible picture. Uh, I'm looking at my own self on my computer. It's not great. Uh, and, uh, I have uh, the uh, and any better antenna. There it is. Put oil on it. Randy Lucas, impressions. Bruce, laugh it out. Oh, shit, that's what it's got to be. I don't know. Can't help it. Can't help it. Anyway, there it is. Folks, I'm going to pack this up because uh, I, it's not getting any better. Uh, thanks for uh, Super Chats today. Uh, thank you to uh, um, um, Auntie Jane in New Zealand for her uh, wonderful donation on uh, on my PayPal. Oh, my gosh. Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, it's the Russians, Bruce. Rose. Can you see Russia from there? Isq Park, time to reset, reboot your internet modem. Thomas Henry, warning, warning, Will Robinson. Nancy Nolan flashing what's going on right now. Tommy, don't forget to lift your leg at the same laugh out loud. Thomas Henry, have a safe travel tomorrow. Tall Willis, Paul Willis, have a good trip tomorrow. I'm heading to Calgary tomorrow, folks. Going to see my daughter. She's turning 30 this weekend. And uh, Jen and I will be in Calgary. I'll be on the air Friday and Saturday at time, but I'm off tomorrow. And uh, hang in there and enjoy and relax and recharge. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you guys then. Uh, Broke AC on Friday, my fellow suburbs. King Silo, is that fester in the circle? Fester confused. Love to travel. Friday, Tracy, have a good, safe trip. Wendy Thompson, bye, all. Have a safe trip to hug that kid. Tommy, see you tomorrow, day after. Uh, safe trip for Randy. Keeper, safe travel, Bruce. Charles Jordan, Bruce, run a speed test. See what you get. I'll do everything I can. Debbie, enjoy your visit with your daughter and Jen. Thank you, Debbie. Nancy Nolan, bye, Bruce, and everyone. Cam, see you Friday. Bruce, have a safe trip. Thanks to you guys. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for tolerating this lousy today. It's all new. Michelle, happy birthday, Brucey, buddy's daughter. You got it. Uh, you guys take care. I'll see you on Friday at 5 o'clock Eastern. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you later. Bye for now.